Hello students, I am Teacher Queenie. I'll be your grade 3 science teacher. Today, we are going to learn about human genetic traits. Are you ready? Now let's start! So our topic for today is about Human genetic traits. So what is human genetic traits? We are going to tackle that later on. For now, we are going to learn about the vocabulary of this topic. I want you to learn and listen very carefully. Everyone is ready? Let's start vocabulary. Offspring. Again, offspring. Children from parents. Offspring. Children from parents. Next vocabulary we have birth. Again, birth. When offspring begins to lie, from a mother's womb or from an egg. Again, birth. When offsprings begins life from a mother's womb or from an egg. Next. Traits. Again, traits. A special characteristic. Traits, a special characteristic. Look at the picture on the screen. It shows different characteristic of a human being. Like, for example, the air. We have air with air loop and air who doesn't have a loop. Next. Generation. Again, generation. All the people of the same age, group, or time. Again, all the people of the same age, group, or time. The examples are your grandparents, your parents, and your generation. Let's proceed to our main topic of the day. The human genetic traits. I am going to tackle the introduction, the history, and the evaluation. I want you to listen carefully. I want you to pay attention on the slide on your screen. Everyone's ready? Let's start. Genetic traits. So what is genetic traits? I am going to explain it to you now. Genetic traits are passed from parent to their offspring. 
It also contained within DNA or genetic code. And passed from one generation to the next. As what I have said, genetic traits are passed from one generation to the next. Like for the example, it started from your grandparents. Your grandparents pass it to your parents. And from your parents pass to your generation. So, without your father and mother, you would not have been born. That's how genetic traits are passed from one person to the other. Understand, students? Very good. Now, the following table shows how some genetic traits can be given from parents to their children. We have hair type, straight, curly, nose, we have high or flat, face, we have square or rounded. Now, I'm showing you some of the examples on the screen. First, we have hair type, straight, curly. Look at the picture on your screen. The left side, we have straight hair. And the right side, we have curly hair have nose again nose we have high nose and we also have flat nose next we have face again face in face, we have square or rounded. That are just some of the examples of traits that you can get from your parents. Now let's proceed to a broader examples. Next example we have a white skin tone father with a blue eyes and a black skin tone mother with a curly hair and the baby with a white skin tone a blue eyes and a curly hair so the baby get his white skin tone from his father, his blue eyes from his father, and his curly hair from his mother. Next example we have a black skin toned father and a white skin toned mother with a dimple. Now Let's observe the feature of a baby. The baby got black skin tone and he got a dimple. So he got his black skin tone trait from his father. And his dimple from his mother. Did you understand, students?
Very good. Now let's proceed to our next examples. I want you to take a look at the picture on the screen. The first picture we have, a picture of a family. We have a father, a mother, and a son. Let's observe their traits. The father has big nose. The mother has bushy eyebrows. So let's take a look at the picture of the sun. The sun gets his big nose from his father. His bushy eyebrows from his mother. Next picture we have a picture of a family. A mother, a father, and a son. The son gets his eye color from his mother, his dimples from his mother, and his skin color from his mother, and his hair from his father, and broad lips from his father. So that are the traits that they get from their parents. Understand students? Very good. Now let's proceed to our activity. I want you to prepare a pen and a paper. I want you to listen very carefully. Is everyone ready? Let's start. Okay, now let's start with our activity. I want you to fill in the empty boxes we check if you have the said traits and X if you don't have. Understand students? Now, I want you to write your name first. Done? Now, let's proceed to our activity. I want you to look at the box on the screen. The first traits we have is dimples. Do you have dimples? Put check if you have and X if you don't have. Next we have nose. Do you have high nose? Or flat nose. I want you to check if you have high nose and X if you have flat nose. Next we have hair. What kind of hair do you have? Do you have straight hair? Or do you have curly hair? I want you to put check if you have straight hair and X if you have curly hair. Now let's go to our skin color. Do you have brown skin color or do you have white skin color? I want you to put check if you have a brown skin color and X if you have a white skin color.
Now let's proceed to our shape of face. We have rounded and square. Would we'll check if you have rounded face and X if you have a square face. Are you all finished? Very good. It is very easy, right? Again, First trait, we have dimples. Next, we have nose. Then we have hair. Followed by skin color. And the shape of your face. Everyone is done. That's great. Now, I want you to look at your paper. Your answer is the traits that you get from your parents. If you have dimples, maybe your father or mother have dimples. If you have high nose, maybe you get it from your parents. If you have a curly hair, maybe you get it from your mommy or your daddy or your skin color or the shape of your face did you understand students that's great now again what is very good our topic is human genetic traits Thank you. Goodbye, students. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Bye-bye.